Welcome to AASA's Learning 2025 Video Spotlight, a series dedicated to school districts across the country working to advance student-centered, equity-focused, and future-driven education. Districts profiled are all serving as national models of the Learning 2025 network to help guide and reposition other school systems by sharing best practices and winning strategies as well as challenges. In this episode, we'll spotlight the Cooksaki Athens Central School District in Cooksaki, New York. Located along the Hudson River, about 25 miles south of Albany, this is a community that is home to about 1,180 students. The district prides itself on having small schools that provide big opportunity for its students. The district also prides itself on working to know every student and strives to help every student achieve their own success. Let's take a look. Cooksaki Athens a School District, we're a uh, rural school district located on the Hudson River, about 20 miles south of Albany, New York. We have about 1,180 students pre-K-12 uh, in four different buildings, two elementary schools, a middle school, and a high school. Uh, you know, we pride ourselves on being a small school that provides big opportunities for our students. And, you know, we work as a school system that knowing that we are small enough to know each kid personally, uh, and therefore we should strive to, to help every kid achieve their own uh, personal extraordinary success, not only while they're here at CA, uh, but after uh, post-secondary uh, life for them. We have our own uh, advanced manufacturing program here at CA where kids uh, work their way through uh, several of the, you know, welding type classes and uh, CNC machining. Um, Motorsports is one of the culminating courses where they design uh, and fabricate a go-kart each year to then run on our own go-kart track that we have right here on campus. And in other, we have computer science pathways, we have a business entrepreneurial pathway. Uh, we are just now beginning a media pathway as well. And in the future, we look uh, forward to, to offering a health science uh, pathway, uh, as well as a um, wellness, personal wellness health pathway in, in that regard. So yeah, we, we're looking for how can we provide uh, opportunities for our kids to shine? Uh, that's what we call our pathways to success, whether it's in the arts, whether it's in the STEM fields, uh, et cetera. And so uh, we're very proud of, of, of those opportunities. And, and along those lines, pathways to success also means being college ready. And so we offer uh, 35 plus college courses. Uh, and in fact, our graduating class of 2022, every single graduate took at least one college course uh, with 60% of our, our graduates, most recent graduates, um, earning 12 credits and 40 and 30% earning 24 college credits before they graduate. So we have a lot of kids who are leaving here at CA as, as sophomores uh, at the college level. And we, and we feel that's certainly a, a strong indicator of post-secondary success, especially being college ready. As, as we go forward. You know, for instance, our, our teachers every day have a professional learning period. Uh, and, and during that time, they're talking about students. They're talking about uh, you know learning. They're laser focused on what it takes to help our kids all learn, as well as their wellness, as student wellness. We acknowledge that the pandemic uh, has had an impact on our, on our, our wellness, as well as our students' uh, well-being. And so we're you know, constantly talking about how do we support our students? How do we replicate post-secondary experiences to prepare students for their future? And so that's going on every day within conversations among our teachers here at CA. Uh, and we provide them that time, that daily time, because we know it's important uh, as professionals that they get together and share ideas at the classroom level, as well as the building level and district level. A part of the, the Learning 2025 network um, has allowed us to stay committed to our 2030 destination. Uh, it, it fits right in tightly with where we want to be at the end of this decade. Uh, the 2025 has kind of provided us some guardrails, if you will, when things get a little uh, messy out there. And, and the results, we're, we're seeing them. You know, again, it's giving us that courage to say, yeah, this is the, this is what's important. This is what we need to do. Um, and so whether it's uh, creating a, uh, a program we call WIN, what I need, you know, at our, at our middle level, where uh, you know students are you know receiving gap closing support in, in math and English and reading et cetera and social studies uh, in a very personalized manner uh, is one example. You know at the elementary level we've had a STEM program uh, which is growing uh, leaps and bounds since we've joined 2025. 
And again, this uh, provides uh, all of our students opportunities to engage in hands-on learning in the STEM fields um, at an early age to hopefully, you know, maybe in, um, create some sparks for our kids to, to uh, go further in those fields. Uh, we know that's, that's important, not just for them individually, but us collectively as a nation uh, to have our students take an interest in the STEM fields uh, as they go forward. So whether they're learning about robotics or um, fisheries and, and, and other projects in, in, in that realm, uh, it's giving them a great opportunity uh, and, and a fun opportunity to learn uh, about science and math and, and technology. For us here at CA to say, let's just do it. Let's stop talking, let's do these things because we know they're good for kids. And so uh, we've created a flex program at the high school level and it's flexible learning experiential. It's an opportunity, it's a way for kids who maybe don't fit into the uh, traditional school model um, to continue to come to school and learn at their own pace and, and during their own time of day, if you will, uh, in a setting that has the support um, in place uh, for both their wellness and their academic needs and to get them to have uh, to find success, to find their passion, to find their, their pathway to success. And we're already seeing great results. We're seeing kids engaged. We're seeing kids attending. Uh, we're seeing results uh, both academically and just in their, their lives as a whole that kids are beginning to feel they belong here in our schools. Uh, where maybe that earlier on they maybe did not feel that they had a place here. So I would really strongly encourage all school leaders to, just to take the time to collaboratively develop your mission, your vision, and your core values and your anchor strategies uh, so that the road forward uh, is going to be bumpy. You know, and so in a pandemic, for instance, <laughs> it was a bumpy road. Um, but if you have that coherence amongst your, your whys and your whats and your hows, you know, you have those guiding principles uh, to provide you direction, give you some guardrails, if you will, when the road gets a little um, bumpy, it's going to help you to keep continue to move forward and move forward together. Interested in becoming part of AASA's Learning 2025 network? Contact Mort Sherman, AASA Senior Associate Executive Director, or access the AASA website. We're looking for bold ideas to shape and prepare students for a better future. Thank you for watching.